This is all weaponization of DOJ and FBI. I don't know how you can have a trial that's going on right in the middle of an election. Not fair. Not fair. It's not fair at all. Yeah, it wouldn't be happening to Democrats, that's for sure. Joining me now to discuss is former U.S. Attorney for Washington, D.C. and former Chief Counsel for the Senate Rules Committee, Joe DeGeneva, along with former Chief Counsel for the Senate Intelligence Committee and former Senior Justice Department official, Victoria Tunsing. Welcome to you both and a, and a happy Holy Week. Victoria, what is cutting the outrageous bond amount signal to you, and how is it going to factor, if at all, into the appeal? Well, Chris, it's still $175 million too much when you compare it to other things like Bernie Madoff's bond was $10 million. I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. But it seems like some of the judges in New York said, oh, dear, we are losing some money here. Maybe we better straighten it out. But it's not nearly enough because this was, I mean, it's a baseless trial, a fraud without a victim or a loss. So there it is. It should go poof. And that's what there, should There happen. it is. Well, Letitia... Letitia James responding to the bond ruling in a statement, quote, Donald Trump is still facing accountability for his, quote, staggering fraud, 464 million judgment plus interest against Donald Trump and the other defendants still stands, end quote. Uh, Joe, given that there were no victims in this case, as, as Victoria was saying, shouldn't the bond be zero and respond to Letitia James if you would? I think it should be zero. I think the case should ultimately be dismissed. It's not going to be dismissed right away. But Letitia James made, again, extrajudicial statements, statements out of court, which are prejudicial to the defendant. They influence the proceedings in front of the court. There should be disciplinary proceedings against her by the bar, but there have been none, and there are likely to be none, because the bar in New York has become a disgrace. They rubber stamp this type of unethical, unprofessional behavior. And yet they go after somebody like Rudy Giuliani for making statements in pleadings in court in a legitimate case. This is really disgusting. Uh, I, I think that Letitia James should be disbarred. My, but believe me, I have I have no hope that that's going to happen. Well, that's true. Uh, there's a lot of things falling by the wayside, a lot of Americanisms falling by the wayside, and now socialist-dominated New York. Victoria, in, in Manhattan, D.A. Alvin Bragg, speaking of which, his case against Trump, the trial uh, date has been pushed back to April 15th, this after U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, turning over, you know, just 100,000 documents. We should remind everybody out there that this case was a misdemeanor that had its statute of limitations run out, and with fairy dust and unicorn poop, Bragg turned it into a federal felony. Lefties are politely calling it novel legal theory. Insane legal experts are calling it complete wacko. <laughs> what do you think the feds waited so long to drop 100,000 files for? Because it was information that would have helped Trump. But I don't know why the judge has been so lenient and, uh, with uh, the the failure to turn over 100,000 documents. That's almost impossible to get through and figure out how to use. But here's here's the thing, Chris. You rightly said that it was a misdemeanor turned into a felony. We really don't know how. We heard from Alvin Bragg, well, maybe federal election law. Well, what business does a state prosecutor have determining federal election law? But Thank here's you. really important point, really important point. The FEC, the Federal Election Commission, looked at that payment and the statement of legal fees and said, no problem. But guess who did they, they had a problem with? Who put legal fees in for Russia, Russia, Russia? Hillary Rodham Clinton, who got mm -hmm. fined over $1,000. Yep, yep. Oh, well, Joe, I've only got about 45 seconds left, but Stormy Daniels, uh, the porn participant, is releasing a documentary while this so-called case unfolds. Do you think that's a coincidence? Oh, absolutely not. Everything related to this case is... There are no coincidences in this matter, just like there are no co coincidences in Washington. Uh, this is an effort on her part to use her participation in the trial to make money. Um, not unusual for somebody in her profession to use herself to make money. Uh, but the bottom line is uh, it's going to influence the case. It could adversely influence the jury. The judge made a mistake by not continuing the trial further. Having this case on April 15th is an embarrassment to the court. That's not nearly enough time to review the documents. So again, the, the cavalcade of judicial idiocy continues in New York.